Hi everyone. In this video, let us see another example problem for the relaxation oscillator using UJT. So design a relaxation oscillator to have 2 kHz output frequency. That means whatever the sweep we are going to generate that will be having 2 kHz frequency using this 2N3980. Nothing but it is a UJT number. 2N3980 which is nothing but UJT transistor number and a 20 volts supply 20 volts supply which is nothing but VBB so VBB is given 20 volts frequency of oscillations F is equal to 2 kilohertz calculate the output amplitude what is the output amplitude output amplitude is nothing but difference between the maximum voltage and the minimum voltage vp and vb so the specifications from the data sheet are given as eta value eta is equal to 0.68 to 0.82 and ip is equal to 2 micro amperes iv is equal to 1 milliampere and vb saturation voltage is equal to 3 volts so the circuit Already we know the circuit which is having one UJT and two resistors from base 2 and base 1 RB1 RB2 here we have R and capacitor now here it is plus V by Y it is plus VBB this is UJT okay now let V gamma is equal to 0 0.7 volts and RB1 is equal to 0 ohms. If RB1 and RB2 values are not given, we can simply assume that as 0 ohms because there is no significance of RB1 and RB2 in the circuit. And VBB is equating to VYY as the other value is not given. Actually, VYY is not given, but the supply voltage is given as 20 volts. So we are equating now in this problem as VYY and VBBS at the same point are having same potentials. Choosing the intrinsic standoff ratio eta is equal to eta is equal to RB1 by RBB that is to be eta is equal to 0 0.5 beta is equal to 0.75 so we know the peak value peak value or peak voltage is given as vp is equal to eta vbb plus v gamma is equal to eta is nothing but the value of the eta is given as it is actually in the range like 0 0.68 to 0 0.82. So somewhere consider the X. center value like 0 0.75 into it is 20 volts plus 0 0.7. So that is equal to after simplification we will get a 15.7 volts. This is VP. Okay. So now coming to the <coughs> calculation of R. Calculation of resistor R which is used for the capacitor to charge. So R is always lies in between <coughs> sorry R is always lies in between R max and R min. Okay, so it is a compromised value between these two values. So first we need to calculate R max. R max is equal to VBB minus VP by IP. That is equal to what is VBB given as 20 minus VP peak value is 
divided by 2 into 10 power minus 6 that is equal to 2.15 mega ohms coming to the minimum value R minimum so what is the difference between minimum and maximum in the maximum we will use VPP VPP minus VP but in the minimum we are saying that the transistor is in on state so that's why the output goes down and it is VBB minus VEB sat divided by IV. So that is equal to VBB minus VV. It is also known as valley voltage or saturation voltage IV. So that is equal to 20 minus 3 divided by 1 into 10 power minus 3 it is 1 milli so that is equal to 17 kilo ohms r min value is 17 kilo ohms now r i said as i said r is in between this r max and r min so if r value is very large then C would have to be very small C should be very small so let R is equal to 40 kilo ohms R is equal to 40 kilo ohms so what is the formula for the period T is equal to 1 by F 1 by F it is given as 2 millisecond 2 kilohertz that is equal to 0 0.5 millisecond okay it can also be written as 500 microseconds okay this is T coming to the sweep period whereas T was the overall time period consisting of TS and TP so if you see particularly TS period sweep period sweep that is TS is equal to <coughs> RC ln of VYY minus VV divided by VYY minus VP so that is VBB is equal to VYY is equal to 20 volts and T is equal to TS plus TR T is equal to TS plus TR already we know overall time period is equal to the addition of two voltage two time periods uh, sweep amplitude sweep voltage uh, uh, sweep period and retrace period so TR is equal to 5 microseconds therefore TS is equal to T minus TR that is equal to 500 minus 5 is 495 microseconds that is TS value or we can also simplify that equation and we can obtain the expression for C from the same previous value TS 425 into 10 power minus 3 10 power minus 6 because it is micro 10 power minus 6 is equal to 40 into 10 power 3 C ln of 20 minus 3 divided by 20 minus 15.7 Therefore, C is equal to 495 into 10 power 6 divided by 10 power minus 6 divided by 40 into 10 power 3 natural logarithm of 20 minus 3 divided by 20 minus 15.7. So if you simplify this you will get the C value C is equal to 
9.003 nanofarads here we have got very very small value therefore the sweep or amplitude voltage or amplitude so what is the formula vs is equal to peak value minus valley value valley voltage that is equal to 15.7 minus <coughs> 3 which is equal to 12.7 volts that is the maximum amplitude in the output waveform so if you draw the output waveform between time and voltage then initially capacitor charges up to this vp and goes down up to a certain level which is nothing but VV valley voltage when it goes up again goes down okay so this particular difference voltages VP and VV we call it as amplitude sweep amplitude okay that is the difference between VP and VV okay so in this way you can calculate the given uh, using given values, you can calculate the resistance, capacitance and the time period. In time period also, we can have two different time periods, uh, sweep period and retrace period. Thank you.